Barbershop 3 picks up in present-day Chicago. Uh, and if anybody knows about Chicago right now, you know, it's, it's pretty, pretty rough out there as far as, you know, the gang violence, as far as youngsters getting into it with each other. And, you know, there's a lot of killing and a lot of situations. Now, The Barbershop is a fun movie, but we also deal with the serious topics of the day or we wouldn't be a barbershop. It's important to make a movie like Barbershop, and you know what, mainly all my franchises, when you have characters like Calvin and Eddie, you know, you want to come back to them. You want to see them again. You want to revisit them. They're so loved by the public. And, um, you know, as an entertainer, I just think it's smart and it's right to get the fans what they want, get the fans the characters that they grown to love, uh, you know, there's never nothing wrong with having another franchise under your belt. And uh, Barbershop is a strong franchise that that deals with, you know, current events and topics of the day. And I think that is what makes these movies so fun because, you know, you're watching a movie, but you definitely hear the names that you know uh, coming through the Barbershop and being commented on and dissected and, and um, it's a whole lot of fun. I think Malcolm is the right director at the right time for this movie because he's seasoned, um, he's smart, he knows where this franchise needs to go, and he's taking us there. It's shot beautifully. He has control and command of all the actors, and you know this definitely won't be our last movie together. I mean, you know what's great is we have people coming back to the franchise. You know, you have Cedric the Entertainer bringing back Eddie. Uh, you got uh, Anthony Anderson bringing back JD. Uh, you have Eve um, and, you know, myself uh, bringing back Calvin. And, you know, th I definitely want to get, try to get as many people back as possible. Um, you got Sean Patrick playing, uh, you know, he's coming back as Jimmy. Um, we got Isaac back. So, you know, we got those familiar faces from one and two that everybody's known to love, but also we've got Nicki Minaj. Uh, you know, she has a great role playing Drea. Uh, we have Common. You know, me and him have a great relationship in the movie uh, that gets a little tested, and he's playing Rashad. Well, it's just great to be a part of a movie that people love and, and a part of a movie that pushes the envelope, uh, you know, in a lot of ways. You know, when you do speak real names that really exist out there, you know, there's a little bit of a little bit of backlash from it, which we welcome because, you know, we want to be a little controversial because we're a barbershop. So um, it just feels good to have a movie that teeters on reality and teeters on great, uh, storytelling and to be able to merge that you know with all the reality shows that's going on today you know this is one of the movies that that is a is kind of a hybrid of of great storytelling and great movie ma magic mixed with you know reality and, and what's really happening out there so I think we're one of the only movies that can really ride that tone